This week the tablet has published the top 100 Catholics. So Brendan, can you tell me why you decided to do this list? Well Rose, first of all, it's not actually the top 100 Catholics. We, uh, we have done that in the past, we did it in 2010 when uh, Pope Benedict was visiting Britain and the tablet put together a list of 100 Catholics, leading lay Catholics, but it was saying uh, these are the Catholics with the most influence and we put them in, in order. And it was a fantastic exercise and we repeated it in 2015, I don't know if you remember when uh, it was our 175th anniversary. So readers love it, they love arguing about it, and we got lots of letters saying, why, is, why isn't she in, and okay. what do you mean by measuring what a ca top Catholic it is, by how much they earned, or there's all kinds of rows about it. So this time, we've done it in a slightly different way. We're calling it the Tablet 100, and it's a kind of a portrait of the influence, the, the slant, the differences, the way in which the Catholic genius marks national life. So we're not so much emphasised on putting them in order, although if I say that people are still going to pour over this and say why am I at 37 or why I'm not quite, haven't quite made it. So everybody who thinks they should have been in, I just want to assure them that they are actually at 101. So um, after, after the influx of mm -hmm. mock mania over the summer, did Jacob Rees-Mogg make the list of your top Catholics? Jacob Rees-Mogg, is he a Catholic? <laughs> Gosh, uh, we forget about Jacob Rees-Mogg. No, it's all right, we've got him. He's here, he's at 99. No, he's here, he's at number, he's at number seven. Wow, pretty good. He's uh, just behind Tony Geller, the editor of The Sun, and he's just ahead of Francis O'Grady, the president of the TUC. So there you are. And is there a particular <laughs> hero or heroine of yours? Obviously we've got Sheila Hollins at number two. But I'll tell you one interesting thing when we're compiling this list. And we asked people in the arts, people in medicine, in science, if they knew of people who were Catholics who we should have. Uh, and all of them, oh, that's interesting, I'd, I'd kind of heard the names. And there's a, a woman that we've got, and she's at number f uh, four. And I'd never heard of her before. And she's in a, a very uh, important role in government uh, and she's at number four and she's called Sue Gray she lives in Essex and she's the person who uh, checks um, standards in, in Parliament and does things like if an MP is writing a, a memoir just make sure that she doesn't overstep the mark in what she says and she's been described as, uh, as Oliver Letwin described as the most important person in, in, in government but there's a fantastic selection of just it's, it's the difference, the different ways in which Catholics live out their faith in, in their work and in their creative work and in their play and uh, that I found was most interesting about this. And if you're pinning down, what does it tell us about what being a Catholic, what difference does it make? It's as if there's no one or two things you can say person by person that kind of nails it and it's a kind of a, a cluster of different kind of characteristics that together there is something elusive slightly different about what the catholic personality is and if you look at the names and number one whether we're right about this or not i don't know but we've got number one is damien green who as you know is theresa may's uh, conciliary her chief advisor but he is right there at the center of government and when he's talking, he spoke to the tablet about this a couple of years ago, about his Catholicism, about his faith. He said, it's just part of who I am. It's not something he makes a great fuss of. It's just a kind of a background feeling that, in his case, as he said it, it's that we flourish together as part of a community. Number two is Sheila Hollins. Fantastic work with... Uh, psychiatry of disabled people, she's an advisor to Pope Francis on uh, safeguarding. So there's such a variety, such a difference here, uh, but underneath there are things in common, things about community, about uh, not understanding that we're not at the centre of the world, that we're, it's not as simple as that. So to a 
people who show us some of the best of, of Catholicism.